Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I hope you have already learned uh, some things about forms in the previous three videos. And if you have not checked that, please check in the description box the link of how we can create a Google form. Now, Google form is very much useful for the teachers, for everyone, but it might be useful for the business persons also. The one persons who are uh, running a small business and they, if they want their form in such a way that can, they can just collect the orders from the customers and then they can just create a bill. Isn't it very much nice if the computer does it by itself with free of cost? So if you not go anywhere else for something, you have to just create a free of cost. So I will teach you how we can collect the orders using the Google Forms. So for that, obviously, you have to just first of all, log in on forms.google.com. And if you have not signed up, you have to just sign it up, okay, uh, with the Google account. So once you have uh, click on forms.googles.com, you can see a template like this. Obviously, we have to go to the blank. So a blank form will be generated. So if you have not seen my previous few videos, please have a look on that so that you can clearly get an idea okay, how we can create a general form. So once you have created a form, you can see that I have clear, uh, I have added some of the add-ons and add-ons are very much important in Google Forms. Okay. So now if you have not uh, seen any of the add-ons, you can just click on this three dots and you will click over here. So as you click over here, a new page will be open and which will have only add-ons on that. So which are the add-ons which is useful for you? You can just uh, browse on this add-ons and you can just uh, install it very much easily. So the add-on which is very much useful for the order form is known as Neartel. So you can just type on Neartel application. It is a very nice application and you can just click over here and install it. I have already installed it. So that is the reason it is coming like this. But if you have not installed it, you can install by giving some permissions. So you have clicked on and installed it. So after you have done this, you will click on the add-ons. This is a puzzle sign over here. And you can see that there is an option of near tail. So let's select that near tail just for a second. We'll just click on the puzzle sign again, near tail. So as you can see, if you click on this, there are some options available. So over here, first you have to click on create an order form. So what you will do, you will just click over here, create an order form, and it will take a little time for working. And then they will tell you to select any of the template. So what you have to do, you have to select any of the template over here. So you will just proceed and then they will be given you with the prefix template. You can select any of the template. For example, if I want to do a bakery order form or clothing order form or maybe grocery, if I've started with the business of uh, multi-page grocery, a restaurant I have started. Okay, so there are many template available. So I will just show you uh, one thing about bakery. So we will just click over here and then they will tell you to copy this order form. So you have to click over here and you have to make a copy of that. So I will just make a copy of that. And then you will see that a copy will be automatically generated with all the basic things which is required. Okay, so here it is clearly written copy of the bakery order form. If you want to change it, you can change it to your company names. Okay, so suppose this is bakery, my bakery, or okay, or you can write your big uh, company's name. Okay, so I will just edit my bakery. Okay, this is the bakery order form. And now you have to customize this little bit. Okay, so what you can do over here, first of all, you will see over here. There are some images which is already prefixed. So for example, whatever your product is there, for example, you are having chocolate chips cookies. So you can add an image. You can change this image also. So suppose if you uh, this image is already prefixed, but yes, obviously if you want to change, you can just click over here. As I have told you in the previous two videos, you can see, and you can change the image also. So you can just add the image of your uh, lovely uh, dishes that you have already prepared. Okay. And then over here, obviously it is written in dollars, but we have in rupees. So suppose the chocolate chip is, uh, rupees 0 0.95 each okay or you can change the price also whatever you want but don't do any mistake over here you will just write down rupees only okay so similarly uh, same thing you can see the chocolate chip cookies the photos is already done so here also you can write down the rupees similarly all the things you can even change the names okay whatever you want to do you can do it or you can even add some images okay or you can add a option of even on uh, this one so just let me first of all change all these things and then I will show you how we can use it properly. So I'm just uh, converting into rupees and even I will just teach you how we can accept the online payments also. In the next video, we will just learn. I don't want to make this video long, but in the next video, we will learn how we can accept the payments using Paytm or Google Pay or any other applications. Okay, so I've converted all in the rupees and other all things are already there. Okay, so now what you will do, you'll just go to the front page again and over here add-ons, you will click on near tail only and then there is an option of customize this form. 
okay so what you will do you will click on customize this form what you have done first of all you have just made a copy and then uh, just change all the price into rupees and whatever your price is there you can just add on the prices whatever are there available and then we will go to the add on and then we will click and the near tail and customize this form so once you do like this your form order is ready and i will just click on customize so you will see that a few minute a site will be open you can see this is the site okay you can even change the themes over here i will just show you but after we do all the things okay so as you can see that my site will be looking like this okay so cookies how many cookies i can select okay suppose cupcakes are there okay how many cupcakes i can select and the total as you can see the total is in the dollars obviously this i have to change it into the rupees so whatever i want to change suppose if i want to change this i can just click on the setting gear icon so i want to change this total amount so as you know that okay, it will take a total of only this whole things okay which has a rupees so what i will do a total amount it is in dollars so i have to change it into rupees so you can see that this is the question total amount is already written i am interested in the answer and this is a don't change anything over here because this is already the prefix uh, the formulas that they, they have already given so you have to not change this you have to just change this dollar into whatever you have done rupees okay so suppose capital r s you have written everywhere so here also you have to write down capital s and you have to save it okay so you can see that here the rupees is right now zero but suppose if i select any suppose if i just select uh, maybe uh, six cookies okay six cookies six into 0.95 it will do and it will show you the value over here see 5.70 it will directly show you the values okay and obviously you can customize the theme also you can change it also okay anytime if you want like that i want to change the images you can change the images over here also it is very much useful now obviously i want to just customize this theme okay so i will just click over here so the theme i will customize if you want any of the prefix themes you can do it or otherwise you can select your own theme also it is not like that you cannot select so enter the name of this site so i can just write down okay your uh, company's name my bakery site or anything else you can just uh, do it you can even background image also you can change you can just select it and you can just uh, enter the description also my food is always fresh okay or something like that or even you can add the logo okay and many more things you can do and i can just save it okay so you will see that in the next time the things will be saved and you can just see it very much carefully so it will just edit a little bit it will take a time and you can see over here the bakery site is already there and all the bakery forms are there okay so you can do it very much properly now i will show you okay, how the people will uh, able to look at okay how the people will able to look at and how they can you can create this form very much useful okay so how i can share this form very much easy i will just go to my google form again okay and over here i will just click on the add ons again and on the near tail i will just share this form so please do not uh, send this form normally which we were doing in the previous two you have to just share this form so just click over here share this form so in meantime it will just show you uh, a website which you can share it with the users so what you have to do you have to just copy this link nothing else you have to just copy control c you have to just copy this link and you have to give it to your friends or families or something like that so i will show you okay, how they will look at okay so what they will do they will obviously from their mobile phones or from the laptop they will just click on the link which you have given so i will just paste the link and now it will just show you okay, how this bakery site will be looking so you can see over here the image i have already uh, means get taken the images from the computer only but yes if you want to change this image you can change it any of the time and i will just click on the start so you can see over here the bakery items are over here so i will just select maybe i want four chocolate chip cookies maybe four this one or uh, cupcakes i need three this i need two or you can see many things you can do okay pizza orders you can take or many things you can do it okay so i will just select this and you can see that the total amount is changing why it is changing because obviously i am selecting so suppose if it is 2.50 so if i select four it will be 10 rupees added okay so i will just select so, so see total is automatically added it is completely fine so i will just enter my name so right now i am entering any name okay my phone number obviously so i will enter my phone number and my email address any email address obviously and i will teach you i have already given in the previous examples okay, if you give an email address automatically the invoice will be given to them so i will just add it uh, any email address whatever i want okay right now okay so i will just enter but please show uh, the and the delivery address okay so delivery address should be completely perfect okay whatever delivery address they want okay they can add the pin code and all that kind of thing so they can see that okay, review and place the order so four chocolate chip cookies they have done this uh, spice cookies this this the total amount is 54.35 uh, the phone number is this this and everything is completely perfect and if it is completely perfect they can just place the order okay so they will just click over here so yes 
the order has been placed and this is the summary that that got okay even they can click the screenshot of this and keep it safe so that uh, they can do it and next time even if i teach you okay, how we can collect the online payment also this is a cash on delivery obviously but i will teach you also how we can collect an online payment also using the google forms okay now let me see okay, is there any uh, miss obviously i want to see that okay, where i will get my responses okay so you can see that i have already filled up one form and when i just come back to this form my original form then i don't need anything else i will just come back to my original form and i will see the responses so once i click on the responses i will come to know okay which person has ordered so i will just go to individual okay and i can just see that okay how many so okay chocolate chip four he has ordered eight he has ordered this he has ordered order order this have ordered and now this is the delivery address phone number and yes obviously i have to uh, collect this much rupees also the total also is 54.35 rupees i have to collect this much rupees if you want you can just print this response also so that it is obviously a printing of, you can just share it in the phone obviously if you don't want to print it in the terms of the pages you can just share it in the phone and then you can give it to the customer also or maybe the delivery boy also who will come to know that okay, he has to collect this much of money with the customer so you can see that okay, this is the uh, printed form and you can see that okay, this is that and total amount so you can just share it it and you can see that okay, where you have to do so it is not very much good for the business persons so i hope you like this video next time we will learn how we can collect online payments also using this google forms so those who are creating their own business it is very much useful and nice so thank you so much stay tuned and please subscribe my channel if you like it please share it with your friends and families thank you and have a nice day